welcome to another one so jay's senior is not stopping this is another video where he's going to be exposing the lies of the victims of that uh, prophet tb joshua bbc documentary let's get into it but he started off with a disclaimer and this is what he said i want to first of all clarify that i am not doing this for clout fame or for money my intention is solely to prevent the name of Jesus from being discredited by unscrupulous individuals who seek to harm the body of Christ. I am fully committed to standing for the church and defending the gospel even with my last drop of sweat. The gospel will continue to spread across the world and the church will grow stronger. Now before getting to the main point today, I would like us to consider just some points that I believe will shed some light on the BBC's so-called exposure, which uses disgruntled alleged victims to damage the reputation of the church and the dignity of the body of Christ. I have thoroughly watched the entire three episodes where the alleged victims are speaking out against the late prophet tb joshua now i urge us to be as impartial as possible and examine all the facts without bias let us carefully analyze these facts and refrain from vilifying anyone based on personal vendettas so he then went on to release some information about Pisola and Agomo, and this is what he had to say. And also that lady who was um, claiming to be the daughter of the late prophet. Let's listen. I am grateful for the brother who has come forward to shed some light on the so-called victims used by the BBC to spread propaganda against the late prophet T.B. Joshua. Let us address the issue of the so-called daughter of prophet tb joshua i know that everybody is talking about this and now the truth is that she is not has never been and will not be prophet tb joshua's biological daughter in any day this is a young girl who was picked from the streets by prophet tb joshua after being abandoned near the church by the parent now prophet tb joshua raised her as his own but today she is working with people who are trying to destroy and betray the same hand that fed them. What a pity. And our Bisola, the lady who once believed she would replace Prophet T.B. Joshua's wife at some point, is a disgruntled individual who is bitter because at her age she remains unmarried, no purpose for life whatsoever. She lost a golden opportunity to marry the late Prophet T.B. Joshua, a man of integrity who remained faithful to his wife until his last day. Shame on you, Bisola. You are a liar, a crooked liar. Agomo, the individual who claims to be the co-founding prophet of Synagogue Church of All Nations. That's a chronic liar who has launched a smear campaign after being expelled by Prophet T.B. Joshua for his unruly behavior, we should not take him seriously in any way. I have a video of him apologizing to the late Prophet T.B. Joshua and other disciples for his deceitfulness. This is uh, my brothers and sisters. I am here this morning to apologize for my unruly attitude. The embarrassment have cost the whole disciples. I'm here to apologize. I have learned my lesson. I've learned a lot of lessons. My naughtiness, pride, arrogance, especially to the man of God. I've offended many disciples, not many, everybody in different ways but i have come this morning to say please i'm sorry i'm very very sorry uh, we cannot outgrow the need for our mentor 
I've learned my lesson. Now let us discuss Sithes Bisi, the chronic liar who claims to have been abused by almost every man of God she has ever met, even some that she has not met. She has a history of seducing men, including the Zulu king Misu Zulu, whom she leaked a very compromising video with. Sithle is actually a who is hired by men for sexual purposes, but then later blackmails the same man using pictures or videos that she takes secretly without this man recognizing her. Have you ever wondered why Sithless Bisi claims to have slept with numerous men of God? Is it because she is irresistibly beautiful? Or she is just an agent of Satan sent to destroy mighty men of God? For those who are unaware, Sithless is actually an atheist who does not believe in the existence of God. She lacks moral guidance from any religious standpoint. We are dealing right here with a serial liar, a desperate thief, a con artist, and a big blackmailer of all times. So Jay Zorosilia went on to reveal that um, there are some people that he has access to who were reached out to by BBC so that they can falsify some claims to tarnish the image of the great prophet T.B. Joshua. And he also went on to talk about some murder cases that are actually pending where it is actually suspected that one of those victims on the BBC, that is Sile, was actually one of the masterminds and all those things so we're not going to be playing the footage for the sake of community guidelines but i refer you to his uh, main youtube channel and you're going to be listening to that video so that by the side there's this lady called chloe tong right there who made some claims in the bbc documentary uh where she was saying that prophet tb joshua used to abuse her and all those other things but the rather fascinating thing is that um she has a sister who is ruth right now ruth is married to a former wise man that is wise man racine and her brother is chris who's actually um uh, evangelist chris who has this to say about the impact of prophet tb joshua the thing which is actually surprising me is let's say for example i have a sister if something happens to my sister i will never uh speak well of a person who would have abused my sister that's really something to think about because if you listen to what evangelist chris is going to be saying it will really nullify whatever she's saying how can you speak well of a man who would have abused his sister that's really something fishy right there. So let's listen to what Evangelist Chris has to say about Prophet TB Joshua. And I'll meet you in the next one. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. God bless you. The Skoan is a divine church with a divine mission founded by divine arrangements on the solid rock of the living word and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. For those of you who don't know my story, my name is Chris Tong, Brother Chris, and I've enjoyed the most incredible honor and privilege to serve Jesus Christ at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, under the mentorship of God's servant, God's general, Prophet T.B. Joshua, for the last 17 years and viewers it is an undeserved grace that i don't take for granted i i first uh visited the scorn when i was just 13 years old with my family and uh, i saw this this amazing this authentic man of god who who made the Bible come alive, <laughs> who, who actually lived the very message that he preached, who clearly had this, this deep, deep personal relationship with God. And, and what I experienced on that trip and the, 
the words that Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke personally into my life made a, a profound impact. Three years later, I just completed my secondary school and basically I told my parents, I said, look, I, I want to go and seek the face of God, the will of God for my life in the place where I know I had experienced God genuinely in the synagogue, Church of All Nations. So in June 2004, I arrived at the school and he was within days. I just knew deep, deep within my heart, this is it. This is destiny. This is, <laughs> this is where God wants me to be, what he wants me to do. And Prophet T.B. Joshua graciously welcomed me as a son. And since then, the Skoan has been my home and it has been the most incredible, remarkable journey of faith. I simply cannot quantify in words what Prophet T.B. Joshua means to me and what God has done in my life through him. God has used Prophet T.B. Joshua to quite literally carry me <laughs> down the path of divine destiny and introduce me to, to Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I am forever eternally grateful 